Today we're gonna to be testing the craziest Minecraft hacks I could find in TikTok to see if they really work. All right, let's see what we got here. Dig down three blocks, place one sand over yourself, then place dirt on the very top. Wait, what? Now two can see good mining spaces. Now two can see it. Okay, so this is a this is an x-ray hack. So, um, you know, shout out to everyone who plays on my server. It's about to cheat and uh, give my admins a hard time, but uh, what do I care? I don't admin. One, two, three, a sand and a dirt. So far, not good. I'm gonna go to like a new location completely and try again. Could be just cause it's on bedrock and doesn't work on Java, but we're gonna give one more try. We'll do it, uh, we'll do it right here. This seems, this is calling my name. It's saying, Zachary, young man, dig into me. Place your sand upon me and thrust your dirt. It's not working, this ain't, that ain't it, folks. Thumbs down, oh for one, not off to a great start today. All right, how to keep friends out. P.S. Put a secret way to get in your base, okay? <laughs> Slash kill at P. So he's just doing command set slash kill at P on a command block and then putting a pressure plate over it. And I think that's gonna kill players that touch the pressure plate. Let's find out. Let's get to a nice juicy location. Look at these little mountains over here. Call my name. They're saying Zachary, young boy. Young boy, come over here and build an inside of me. And I say, yes, blocks, I will. Anyway, it looks like it was just like this. And then it was kill at P. Was that, was that it? Okay, so that is literally all it is. Kill at P. Needs redstone. Oh, geez, I, I did it. I don't pretend to be a command block expert. Okay, now it's set correctly. So we're gonna build a little thing like this. All right, we're gonna pretend like you're little, little baby Joby. Little baby Joby, got yourself a little base here. You're walking in, you're like, yo, come check out my base. Welcome in, Alexis just closes the door. Boom, instant kill right there. Collect your loot, move on to the next one, folks. That is a thumbs up for me. Next up, how to make a working car engine. This one looks really hard, so I'm kind of nervous about this. All right, so we got some, some piston actions, some, these are good, these are just like confusing to me. I don't know, a working car engine. It's not like that bad, right? But like, it feels like it's gonna be kind of hard. I'm gonna watch this again. Okay, welcome back to Russia. Today, I show you how to build car. Very good car, good in Russian mountains. Step one, one, two, three, nope, uh, three, four. Okay, very good. Step two, I want to block a gap. I want the two, three, or four. Uh, very good. Okay, now, you take a weird block, you put block there, you put block there, and you do one of these, one of these, okay. That's the basic core of it, okay. Functional car this is how Ford invented the first Ford. This is where we get a little dance. So what we're gonna do here now is put a piston in, but it's backwards in the middle. Finally, one of these. So guys, let me just give you a recap because that's a really fast TikTok and they don't give you enough time to make these because they don't realize I'm gonna be reacting to it. If we have created a functional car engine, this will begin moving the second I place this. Here we go. What? Why are you staying extended, big boy? Come back in. There's no redstone triggering you. You should be in. You should be shuffling in. All right, guys, this is my last try. I am 100% confident that I have built this correctly, right? Am I stupid? All right, yeah, no, this is 100% right. 100% confident. This is correct. It ain't working on my version, at least. It might work on the Bedrock Edition. Give it a try, see if you guys can get this one to work. I have failed. The Russian man has failed to bring you car. Next TikTok, two down, one up for the scorekeepers out there. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, you've seen these before. The little picture frame secret door chest. I like that. That's not bad. I think I can do that one without even needing, without even needing help. Watch this. I'm a redstone expert, guys. I know we rich here, so we build our walls out of diamond. All right, so you got yourself a little diamond wall. Okay, we got the sword here in the middle. Comparator down. Actually, we're gonna we're gonna elevate this. We'll put the comparator down here. Trigger that sucker there. Put another block here. Get a little redstone. Boom, 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 boom. That might not be enough. We'll find out. And then uh, when we tilt this. Let's watch our signal through here. Oh wait, no, I think I made this thing backwards. Boom, okay, there it is, got it. So that's all you gotta do. You gotta build this thing, all right? And then you got yourself a little Gucci base. And you come here and you go, boom. Get yourself a little chest action. Close her back up. That, I like that. I like hiding the chest under the crafting table because it's actually useful. Because like you could have like your important ingredients down there, open the sucker up, get what you need to craft, and then close her back up. Like that, that's actually something that you would use like constant, like often, like I like that a ton. This is a 10 out of 10. That's two up, two down. I like this one a lot. All right, what do we have here, folks? We have a duping glitch. Now I was worried about showing this one because I run my own server and this seems like a bad idea, but we're gonna test it out anyway, because we need to know, does it work? So I had gotten really bored and I've gotten really sick of this castle. Bored and sick of the castle. It's a young 10 year old. You know, he's probably knows how to do this. I'm duplicating TNT. The way that you do this, you put a button on a sticky piston on a chest. What? And then whenever you press the button, you gotta pull out the item the exact time. <laughs> I don't know, guys. That seems a little bit suspicious to me if that actually is gonna work or not, but let's find out. Um, again, he seems to be on a different version than me, so it might work differently. You gotta tell me if it works on your version because I'm using Java right now. So we just basically used a sticky piston, a chest, filled it with a, like four TNT. It's so funny because like I remember being that age and doing that same thing and I was like, yo, I found a duke glitch, I'm the best. Here we go. 
Okay, I, I'm not even, mine's not even moving. So let's try it on a regular piston as well and just see. Like, will this even move with the chest? That seems to be a negatory. Okay, this is this is definitely not seeming to be working on this mode. Let's try an alternative method, all right? We'll pop a lever on this sucker. A lever and a button. I mean, there's there's nothing. This is a thumbs down, guys. We're, we're getting a lot of ties here today. Maybe this does work, but thank God it doesn't on my server, at least, I hope, because that would be pretty detrimental. I'm kind of glad that one didn't work, I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay, another command block one here. Let's see what we got coming in. Slash effect at P, levitation. Okay, okay, what are we gonna do here? Pressure, weighted pressure plate, stand on it. The sucker launches you pretty much out of the world. Okay, that seems like a more excessive trampoline and I can get behind that. Let's go ahead and see what happens. So first things first, let's make it look good. You can't have a trampoline that doesn't look good. Okay, command block in the center, slash effect at P. Oh, so it must be give at P. Levitation, two seconds, amplifier 100. Okay, let's see. Oh, yes, look at that view. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Okay, I'm impressed here, but this says amplifiers too. Let's change this to like five seconds and just kind of see like what kind of difference that makes. Like, is it gonna just keep launching us even higher? <laughs> really is nice up here. This is what it feels like to skydive, guys, if you ever wondered. Yeah, 10 out of 10. This is one of my favorites I've seen today. Clean hit, boom. That's probably one of the highest I've ever seen a slime take you. Okay, that was absolutely incredible. Very much nice, very much nice, thank you. All right, what else is here? Automatic wheat farm in Minecraft, okay. Now, does that does that itself work? I don't even know if that itself works. I gotta test that before I see the real thing, but let's see what else he's got. Because if that works, I never knew that, which is kind of crazy, because I'm a YouTuber that plays this game with a million sub. What? I'm gonna pray right now to Papa John that the first thing don't work that way I don't have to try that because what I mean this is this is as good as any spot here so go ahead and hoe that and um you know we're gonna we're gonna fertilize ours I do like to have a fertilized the ground there guys you don't understand like how badly I do not want this to work okay so there's a, there's your there's your control all right you can plant a basic potato here now we're gonna try the alternative method which we're praying doesn't work and thank god oh wait his has a gap though so it doesn't work from one away will it work from two away it doesn't appear to be working. So his are, his are one away. I mean, that, his are straight up one away. Now this one's unfertilized ground. So let's try it again here. I'm just confirming this doesn't work. Okay, well, I've never been happier to say, I don't think this one works. Maybe it does, but I, I've never heard of being able to press a button to plant something. I don't know what version he's on. It does look like Java edition, which is weird why it doesn't seem to be working. I mean, you know, I'm not gonna question it. Some things in life you don't question. This is one of those things. Let's move over to the next one before we uh, actually find out if that works. Next, next, next. Okay, way to scare your friends. This only, oh, this has 35,000 likes. This one might be good. Hold up, slow down, buddy, slow down. You're going way too quick here for me. Uh, what in the world now are we doing here? Oh, 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 oh. that is weird. Are you gonna greet people with that, an armored thing? You push, it. oh, it shoots out of you, but why are you doing this so quickly? Okay guys, so we just built a little basic base here today. I know, it's gorgeous, thank you. We're trying to give that psychopathic vibe because we are trying to scare people. So, piston on the wall, you got a slime coming out, you got redstone kind of like this thing. Like all ice there, the door appears to be there, but that looks right. Okay, so there's our monster right there. All right, we got him done. Now you can't see it, it's dark. You're coming in, you're like, yo, hey, welcome to the base, boom. Oh, that actually made my heart rate go up a little bit. If you're seeing it in person is actually like really disturbing. That is legit. And you could do this coupled with something else, all right? You have like, you know how people put lava on their base to look cool? Like I do that, we all do that. Like it just, it does look cool. Don't even lie to me, you know you do it too. You put lava outside, like a little patch like this or something. And then that thing comes out and gives them a heart attack and they're gonna fall into lava or die. Like that is terrifying. <laughs> And I like that a lot. One time use, but very good. That's another good one. Exploding tree prank. Now this is a classic, guys. We're gonna slow it down for something that a lot of us know, but those Minecraft noobs out there may not know this one. You take a tree, you dig around underneath it. Redstone underneath, a lever there that you turn on, and basically, you see how this is reversing the torches? You see what's happening here? TNT, that way when the thing's broken, the torch is unreversed once you break that wood, and then it all explodes and destroys you. It's a really good trap, to be honest with you. Let's try it out and see if it still works in 2020. Let's pick a juicy tree. Like, you're a noob, you're coming, I'm gonna pick this tree. Okay, so we're making a miniature version, so we're kind of restricted by the water, and I, you know, boy, your boy didn't think of that. Redstone under it, lever that's turned on that turns the redstone on. You can see that when you click this, it'll turn the torches off. Then when it breaks, the TNT will ignite. So then all we have to do is get some TNT here and then bury it. So we could just do a little, okay, well, that's just uh, unfortunate, isn't it? 
Okay, boom. We got it all set. We got this thing ready to go. Now that you would have no idea what's going on. So let's see. Let's pretend I'm a little noob. Uh, my I'm got my little noob skin on and I'm just ready to go. Oh boy, I'm so excited to go mine my first tree. So you go up to your first tree and you're just like, oh boy, this is gonna be the best day ever. I just love this game. I, I I've always wanted it. I could never play, and I'm on my favorite YouTuber lover fellow server, and here we go. Just here we go mine. Mom, mom, come look what I just did. What is that? Guys, you see that? That's right there. That's good acting. All right. Yeah, that's pretty legit. Do we know what it looks like now? Nope. But it works very well. Very, very impressive. I'll give it a four out of 10 because it's probably old, but it's still good. Day one of Minecraft Easter eggs until I get famous. Let's see what we have here. We have an evoker. We have a sheep. We have a blue sheep. A blue sheep with an evoker turns red. I'll bet you I'm gonna get a million comments saying, boy, you didn't know that. Everyone knows that. Everyone knows evokers turn sheeps red, dude. I'm not even gonna cage him in. I'm gonna pop down an evoker right here. Whoa, let's put down a sheep. Oh, it does work. Oh my gosh, that's great. I mean, sure the wolf murdered him. That's a terrible life for that sheep. Okay, let's try it again here with like a bunch. We got a sheep, um, a few of them in here. So let's put down your old evoker and see what your boy can do. Will he change them all? That is the weirdest thing. Why does that happen? Like, does the evoker like red a lot? I love this. I love this so much. I never knew this existed. Yes. Okay, cool. Well, go ahead and make your red sheep. That's great. You don't have red dye? No worries. Get yourself an evoker in a cage. Cool. Minecraft tricks part two. This has 42 likes. No one has ever seen this video. Putting down some weird window flappers. Oh, he's going to daylight sensor it to make it turn into a closed window. Oh, I like what your boy has done here. Let's do it. Okay, this is our base right here. This is our base. Uh, you know, it ain't much, but it gets the job done. You're going to put these right here. I mean, okay, there's there's one downside. And you got to have this like stick out at some point. Oh, okay. I'm excited for this one. Like if this one actually works right when it turns night, I could see this one being like used all over Minecraft, like literally all the time. Okay, so here's your base. It's, it's sure it's very ugly, but you get the idea. You walk inside. You got a really nice view during the day, but then at night you don't want people seeing you guys, uh, you know, hanging out inside, killing pigs, whatever. Um, Time set night, okay? Did not work at all. Now this should work, all right? This should be working. Now guys, I cannot get this one to work. No matter what I do, I cannot get this one to work. I see that this is still giving off a redstone signal even in the middle of the night. So I don't know if this version is not working, but this is clearly not changing. The only way I can get it to change is if I put one here, then it will close. But then if I actually do like time set noon, Nothing here. Time set night. Nothing here. I do not know why this one will not work. It could be the version. It could be because I'm doing it wrong. But this one seems like it should work. And if it does, this would be a really cool feature for your house. Because then at night, you could just go bloop and then buckle yourself in and be really cool. But that does it for today, guys. If you enjoy episode four of Minecraft TikTok Hacks, let me a comment below on what your favorite one was. If you have ideas for future TikTok hacks, let me know. As always, subscribe here for new videos every single day, guys. And I'll see you all tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern time. Peace. Click that screen.